Have you ever been awakened at night by butt spasms? Or maybe you were just going around your day and bam, you were ambushed by butt spasms. Now you have sharp intermittent butt pain and you don't even have to poop. What's up with that? Today I will tell you why you're having butt spasms and what you can do about it. I'm Nurse Wall and this is Butt Talks. name for butt spasms is called Pertalgia Fujak, which means anal pain without any cause. The pain from these spasms is often in or around your anal canal. These attacks can happen randomly and can affect anyone of any age. These painful spasms can last from a few seconds up to 30 minutes. Many people mistaken butt spasms for levator A9 syndrome, which is prolonged butt pain that can last up to three months. Now that's what I call a real pain in the acid. Watch your video on levator A9 syndrome to learn more. Although there's been a lot of research on the potential causes of butt spasms, many of the health professionals still have not agreed on a root cause. Some possible reasons are stress, constipation, anal sex, forceful straining while pooping, or prolonged sitting. Even I, the butt whisperer, had butt spasms. Mine occurred especially after passing an extra large poop. The spasms are an indicator that my butt has suffered from pooping. The following recommendations will relax your internal butt muscles that are connected to your tailbone and help relieve your butt tension and spasms. Here are my top five treatments for butt spasms. Number one, ergonomics. If your butt spasms are caused by prolonged sitting, changing your ergonomics would be a great place to start. Ergonomics is the science of efficiency to our bodies with respect to our environment, creating the least amount of stress to ourselves. Bad ergonomics has many unforeseen consequences such as back pain, fatigue, and you guessed it, butt spasms. Examples of bad ergonomics are sitting in uncomfortable chairs or staying in uncomfortable positions for hours on end. To fix this, reevaluate the surfaces where your butt rests. Take a look at the chair you spend the most time in. Is the surface of your chair too hard or soft? Is your chair too high or low, tilted or straight? Is your butt fully seated in the chair? The best thing you could do for yourself is to listen to your body when you feel uncomfortable. This can mean the difference between having butt spasms or not. Here are some helpful ergonomic tips from Butt Talks. Practice good posture and don't slouch. Slouching can put prolonged pressure on your tailbone. While sitting at your desk keyboard, keep your feet flat on the floor and your spine straight. Your shoulders should be relaxed and your elbows should be at your ribs at a 90 degree angle. Try alternating between an ergonomic chair and a large yoga ball. Use a comfy butt cushion. Your butt has a lot of nerves. If you're sitting on cold, hard surfaces, your butt can suffer from butt spasms because of the compression of these nerves. So put a comfy cushion on it. Sheepskin padding can be very helpful to keep your butt warm and cozy. Let's face it, not everyone's buddy is warm and fuzzy. I'll leave a link in the description below. Consider buying a new chair to give your buddy some relief. Changing your positions while you work by getting an adjustable stand-up desk or lowering it to alternate some stress off your butt. These tips apply to students who study for long hours as well as professionals who have a lot of computer work. Number two, stretch and exercise. Stretching and exercising is very important for our ever-growing sedentary lives. Make sure to not stay in one place for more than one hour at a time. This is very unhealthy. Sitting too long in one place begins to weaken the core muscles in the center of your body. Your core muscles support your abdomen in which returns support your lower back, pelvis, and hips. Many professionals who sit a lot at work suffer from butt pain. This is due to the muscles around our lower back, pelvis, and buttocks tightening up since they are not being stretched or active. 
If your body feels stiff, you're more likely to get this crazy butt pain. Remember, the key is to get up and move. Try taking at least 5 to 15 minute stretch breaks every hour. By stretching and taking short walks, you can activate these muscles and stimulate blood flow to loosen them up. Some great ways to stretch and exercise are yoga, Pilates, and Tai Chi. Number three, relaxation techniques. One possible cause for butt spasms is stress. Try some relaxation techniques and see if they bring you relief. First relax, allowing your buddy to recover from its spasms. I suggest lying down on your back with a few pillows under your knees to flatten your back. Sometimes this is just enough to settle the butt pain and the spasms. Another technique that I really like is deep breathing, specifically the alternative nostril breathing. Watch our video on how to stop anxiety to learn more. Third, visual imagery exercises will help you relax. Imagine your happy place. While you're there, see the sights, hear the sounds, and take in the sweet smells as you breathe deeply. All these tips are great ways to help you de-stress and relax your butt spasms. Number four, heat and cold. Believe it or not, applying heat to your body is quite relaxing. Use microwavable heat pads since they are easy to heat and use. If cold compresses work better for you, try applying them when you're sitting or lying down for five to 10 minutes. Be sure to layer a towel between the heat or cold compresses so they don't go directly on your skin. Another option is to soak your butt in a warm bath or a sits pan for 10 to 15 minutes. Your butt will be in buddy heaven. I will leave a link of all the products in the description below. Number five, medications. If you tried all our tips and still have butt spasms, try taking two tablets of Advil or Tylenol for butt relief. However, if your butt spasms continue, try seeking out medical attention for further help. Butt spasms are the worst, but you're not alone. Try following our tips and see if you get improvements. Your butt will thank you. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you want to learn more about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great poop day!